um, wooded areas, overgrowth, grass. Photogrammetry cannot penetrate through uh, trees or anything like that. You're always gonna get the top of your canopy and you'll get a big hole in the bottom of the ground is. So you may miss everything. The LIDAR, on the other hand, will find those holes in the leaves and actually get active live ground shots through the wooded areas. We've done mature cornfields with this between the rows. The only thing we haven't been able to get through are like matted down grass and full on soybeans or other large leaf plants that, that cover the ground. If you can see the ground from the sky, it can see the ground from the sky. If you can stand below a canopy and see blue sky poking through the leaves, this can find those holes to get to the ground, which is where you want. So you can combine the best part. You're gonna get better accuracy with this on hardscape than you will with this, but you're gonna get better penetration and coverage with this than you will with this. So you can fly a mission with both. You'll get two LAS valves. Cut out what you want for one, cut out for the other one, and then go from there. Put this on. We'll, we'll show you mission mate. You, you, you say you should fly them both? Yeah, why not? Well, one, one at a time. time. Okay, all right, yeah. Yeah. They sent you. I don't know why you got this. I'm gonna. I'm gonna question. I'm gonna request a question from Mitchell. Why you have this? This is another one of these from out on the top here. Okay. okay. The only thing this is typically used for. Can you think of a reason on the top for this? Unless they're doing some kind of inspection with that camera, but I wouldn't imagine. I've never used it. Well, see, this camera has no zoom. Okay. Yeah. It's fixed focal period. You never want a zoom lens for photogrammetry because it ruins your, your 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 camera model for elevations. This is a gimbal you can mount on top. There's four screw holes in here. It just screws in with thumb screws, and you plug the USB port in here, and then whatever you mount on top. So you can you mount the other one? No. You can't. Okay. No. These two cameras typically only get mounted in the native because uh, you're always you're always shooting in a native yeah. position. Okay. Okay. This is for an inspection camera. You can mount a zoom inspection camera with a spotlight on top of here and tilt up underneath. That's all this I'll do it out of the way. Sure. We'll leave this. Um, I don't want to open it yet just in case. I'm gonna check with Mitchell to see why you guys got that because um, I they don't thought of bridge inspection of uh, yeah, if if like we are doing road inspection, I don't know if, if that camera is gonna <laughs> It can, but like I said, this, this camera has no zoom capability. Um, so if you want to zoom in and apart, it's not going to happen with either of these. But, okay. Either. Yeah, neither of one of these have zoom. No, a, a, a good, a photogrammetry camera, again, has a fixed lens. It's, it's encased in whatever to keep it from moving. Because on a zoom lens, if you zoom out and zoom in, you're really not getting back 100% to where you started from. Sure. And that'll throw off the focal length of the, of the camera and then it can ruin your model. Okay. We do have an inspection camera that's 200 and zoom with a spotlight and a laser disto and thermal and infrared and all that fun stuff. But that's what I would mount on top. Neither of these, but it's an op. I mean, I, I've had people take photos from that, but you gotta get really close and you're not gonna get a good. Sure. Uh, you'll get a beautiful image um, but it's just going to be a fixed zoom, so it, it's there if you, if you want it. This just comes, like I said, this just, there's four screws at the top, so you just thumb screw it in, you open up this, you plug in, there's a little cable that comes out of it, you plug it in there, you're good to go, whatever you mount on top. The nice part about the system is the drone detects automatically what you have on there, it configures itself appropriately. You don't have to do anything magical with it. Okay. I'm going to I'm gonna set it down for now. Um, but before we go and fly, I'm gonna take it apart. I'm gonna have you guys put it together. Make sure you feel comfortable with it. Take it apart. Sure. Um, but we're gonna keep it up now because I'm gonna end up using it for the next demo. Yeah.